Hi, I'm Major General Pat Donahoe. I'm the Commanding General here at Fort Benning and the Maneuver Center of Excellence. I want to tell you a story about two incredible men that are going to change the history of the United States Army. It's going to be First Sergeant Morris and Colonel Gaithers. Here at Fort Benning, we have, we have incredible history. And so in the 20s and 30s and into the early 40s at the beginning of the Second World War, we had the 24th Infantry Regiment that was headquartered here at Fort Benning. First Sergeant Morris was a non-commissioned officer in that unit in the late 30s and early 40s. He served right here at Fort Benning. Matter of fact, he and his wife and family lived in government quarters uh, right here in the Indian Head housing area on Fort Benning. And you can go over, you can see his house. There's a plaque on that house that marks uh, the special nature of his service and his living in that house with his family. But Morris, in the early 40s as the war begins, and the United States Army starts experimenting with this incredible technique of modern warfare called the airborne insertion. Morris is tasked to come down and guard with his soldiers the airborne obstacle course after work. All right, so can you imagine you know, a young first sergeant shows up and he's got his detail of men and he's told, all right, first sergeant, you've got to guard all these, all these obstacles uh, that all of our airborne trainees are gonna do their physical training on every day. And so you've gotta make sure nobody messes with that stuff overnight. And so Morris says, okay, well, I can do that. Um, so he's got, his, he's got his men with him. He says, hey, I think we can do these obstacles. And so what he starts doing is every early evening that he's got this guard duty is he starts running his men through the obstacles on the airborne obstacle course. And so you can imagine, this, there's a group of black soldiers from the 24th Infantry Regiment every late afternoon in the Georgia heat running through these obstacles and all these white airborne uh, candidates watching that uh, every day as they're coming back from their evening chow. And so on one of those evenings, Colonel Gaithers, who is the Commandant of the United States Army's Airborne School, comes walking out and he sees First Sergeant Morris and his men running through uh, those obstacles. And Gaithers walks up and stops Morris and says, hey, wh what do you think you're doing? What are you doing? And Morris, of course, comes up and you know, sees the colonel and salutes and says, hey, sir, um, you know, we can do this. We're running through uh, the obstacles. I'm First Sergeant Morris from the 24th Infantry Regiment. We're tasked to guard these. We're going to guard them while we do it. And so Gaithers looks at Morris and says, okay, he goes, you think you and your guys can do this? And Morris says, absolutely, sir. And so Gaither says, meet me back here at six in the morning. And that's the birth of the triple nickel. But that's also the story of one man's incredible endurance and perseverance for Sergeant Morris. And that's the story of an ally, Colonel Gaithers, who's willing to recognize talent and give talent an opportunity, regardless of race. Thanks.